What is up everyone? So today we have the Leo Photo uh, LS223C carbon fiber tripod. We're going to go over its features, its price point, um, whether or not it's the right purchase for you, and then also a repair and why I need to repair it. So stay tuned for that. Let's get into this review and the repair and see what it's all about. Okay, so before we get into the um, the install and fixing the, the issue, uh, let's go over what I have here, okay? So I have a GoPro uh, buckle mount here, okay? Sunway photo um, slide here, okay? Um, and then I have a panoramic head here from uh, Highlights. This is a H-2, okay? So this allows me to do the panning real smooth, okay, buttery. The reason why I chose this one was because it's low profile, so it didn't come with this uh, Leo Photo. All right, but I figure since it's on there, I might as well talk about it a little bit. You have the 3 8 adapter here on top, so that way you could even uh, put an extension, whatever it is you have extra on there. Uh, the Sunway Photo, uh, little plate here that goes in there it locks in uh, you got these big groove cutouts here so that way it doesn't slide anywhere all right the buckle system stays locked in I have a drilled hole here so that way I can lanyard my GoPro uh, I have older videos of that on why I did that so when you're in the mountains or whatever near water I didn't want to lose my GoPro okay but let's get rid of this head it looks pretty cool it makes this thing it complements the Sun or the Leo photo really nice just because the size of it fits perfectly. Okay, so we'll set that aside. Okay, so let's go over the gear before we go over this. Okay, so you're given a nice bag here, super nice bag. Um, I don't use it. Okay, it's just something that I don't really use. Uh, I have a backpack for it. You're given the parts here. And then on this side here, you have a zipper, okay? And you can stow stuff away in there, okay? It's a padded bag, so this is a thick padding all the way around. Uh, you could throw it over like a, a gun strap or whatever. Uh, that's the way you could tote it around. You have uh, these... Um, spikes here for like dirt and stuff uh, so that way you don't jack up the rubber feet all right and then you have your little gear bag here i don't believe all this stuff came with it i probably threw a few other items in here so take it with a grain of salt on what you're gonna get so this here's the sunway photo uh base plate this i believe may have been with the sunway so i wouldn't consider that part of it this here probably more than likely came with this it attaches here so that way you could hang this off your backpack okay uh, you have an adapter here which probably came with this so it's a quarter 20 to 3 8 thread you have a quarter 20 right there to 3 8 thread adapter um, like I said, I don't use this stuff. I usually just stow it together because this is a nice bag and I was able to keep all this stuff with it. I have a little screw here. Probably didn't come with it. I'm not quite sure. Uh, same thing with these. Uh, you have a screw and a screw. So like I said, take this all with a grain of salt. I have all these Allen keys that did not come with the Leo Photo probably because Leo Photo gives you one of these, okay? So this little contraption is pretty cool. Uh, you have an Allen key here, pops out from the side, everything's together. You have another Allen key here, another one here to tighten up all your screws and stuff. You have a bottle opener here to crack open those cold beers. And you have a flat uh, piece right there for like a flat blade. And then you have a little clip so you can hook it on your backpack and don't look. So enough with the stuff that <laughs> probably didn't come with it <laughs> and on with the good stuff okay so let's talk about from the top down what it what it offers okay 
So you got this large plate here, which is really nice to support a large camera. So you don't have no binding issues or potentially cracking your frame of your camera because the surface is uh, smaller on smaller tripods. Uh, you have these cutaways here for vents. So that way it makes this whole thing lighter. My biggest uh, thing I like about this tripod in particular, which I like with some of the expensive brands, is this spring loaded action here. Okay. So you got a quarter 20 on the inside and a three eighths on the outside. So if you have a camera that's all cameras are typically quarter 20, uh, you could set it on here and the three eighths depresses around the quarter 20 and then boom, you get the quarter 20 sticking up for you to tighten down your thing and you don't have to push it down. You just screw uh, your camera on top and it does uh, it all for you. Okay. On the side here, you got a mount quarter 20 mount on the side right here. Okay. And this allows you to run a magic arm, a cell phone holder, a screen, whatever it is you have that you want to mount to the side while you have your camera up here, you could do so here. All right. You got spring loaded um, position locks. Okay. So these are spring loaded. And if you pull them out to a certain extent, they'll actually lock in place for you to do your, all your adjusting. Okay. Um, you got your typical adjustments, you know, uh, what normally comes on a lot of tripods. See if we could get it fully flat. Uh, I really crank this thing down because I don't, I don't like when a tripod gets real loose. Um, so I had that issue on a, a Vanguard tripod where I tighten it real tight and then over a few uses, the legs get real loose. I didn't like that. So this almost sits flush with the ground. Okay. It sits high enough. So that way these could stay off the ground. That's why you have these offsets on your um, feet here. So that way you don't destroy your grips, but it sits nice and flush on there. I mean, I'm pushing on it and it does not budge. Uh, the fit and finish on these lever locks here fit perfectly. You have uh, brass bushings in here, so that way it doesn't eat away the aluminum metal. All right. Uh, really nicely constructed, this whole thing is. Okay. Carbon fiber, all carbon fiber. They click down when you move them downward, which is one thing I like about this tripod in particular is they're automatic if you don't pull them all the way out. Okay. Uh, really sturdy design. It has a three extension um, piece here. So it goes up about that high. I'll talk about why I'm not extending it uh, just yet. You have these removable legs or feet. Okay. Three eighths thread, all aluminum in there. Aluminum housing. Super smooth. Okay. So that's uh, the tripod uh, at a glance. I mean, this tripod right here, worth purchasing just the fit and finish of it's excellent. It's going to run you around that hundred dollar price range. Okay. Let's get into the issues that I have and why I'm not extending it. Okay. Um, and by the way, it's aluminum and 10 times carbon fiber, if that means anything to you. Okay. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing any extension right now is because I have an issue. Okay. The moment I extend these, all right, it gets real gritty and it's because not that one, that one's okay. Okay. We'll take this all apart cause we're going to do a repair right now. Anyway, that's the issue right there. So uh, a few of these did this, but as you can see, it's broken. So these, um, Plastics are super, super paper thin and they break really easily. Um, I didn't really use this tripod a lot, to be honest with you. Uh, I probably used it maybe a handful of times, like 10 times, and it's already destroyed um, itself. I have some of these that are just cracked, like with hairlines in them, and then other ones just fell apart. Um, 
And the way I notice is when I unscrewed it to take out each one of these legs, uh, I could feel a grittiness. And uh, what, it, what happened was just sitting the crack, okay? These are just super thin, or maybe there's a flaw in the material. Uh, but I got some replacement ones, and we'll go over the replacement parts and how much they're going to cost you. Okay, so for the replacement components, uh, what you're going to need is some type of lube. Um, this is just O-ring lube uh, with PTFE. Uh, I recommend getting the Molly Coat uh, 33 or, or 50. I think it's 50 is the higher one. Whichever one's the highest, uh, I think it's 30, 40, and 50 or something like that. Get the higher one. Uh, it's a lot thicker, and that will make your your uh, stuff here as you twist it a lot smoother okay and then they got like the 111 and that's kind of like a multi-purpose uh, one okay um, but this stuff is uh, pretty good um, the the molly coat the 33 it's pretty good but it's a little on the thin side um, i actually have some of that maybe i'll use that let me go check and see the difference real quick so the Molly Coat 33 is super light. Um, it's for the paintball stuff. Uh, and then I have here the 111. So this and the other O-ring stuff is uh, pretty comparable, uh, but I prefer Molly Coat because it's a better brand than the other stuff. Okay, so we'll use that. The package you get it in is something like this, okay? Uh, I called or I located their email and stuff and contacted Leo Photo directly. They actually told me that this has a 10-year warranty, no problems, all free, as long as you know who sold it to you. I purchased this on eBay, and I didn't have the contact information for the guys who sold it. And if they're not a retailer store, uh, then you're screwed, okay? So if you're going to pay the retail price, buy it from a retailer so you get that warranty, okay? Uh, for these here okay uh they're gonna run you 30 dollars from the factory for them to ship it and ship it to um, uh, the us okay 30 dollars. this is a hundred dollar tripod around there so for 30 bucks i mean you're at almost half the price of the tripod and it's kind of hard to uh to swallow that that price you know so they i asked them if they had any other retailers near me that you know i don't have to pay that expensive price because shipping and stuff is like 10 bucks for shipping. Um, which to be honest, they should have, well, it wasn't 10 bucks for shipping from uh, Leo Photo. It was $30 to ship it or something like that um, because maybe they had to package these really well uh, so they don't get damaged. And um, yeah, then they would have sent them for, to me for free. And I was like, no way, that's too expensive. I mean, buy the tripod for half the price there. Uh, so I asked them for a local retailer. They didn't have no one. Uh, they have a few in the U U.S. Um, and I contacted um, them. And um, the one that gave me the cheapest price was around $20 or $20 flat for one of these. Okay. And I told them I'll take it. So what they ended up doing was they ordered it from Leo Photo and then they shipped it directly to me. And that was nice on their part because technically I didn't buy it from them, so they didn't have to do that. Uh, but they got it at a cheaper price because they buy in bulk. So they had everything shipped at once, so they get a cheaper deal, okay? So I paid 20 bucks for these plus with shipping, okay? And uh, here's the card. So they do Sunway Photo, like all those brands, right? Positive if you're interested in that stuff. Um, and then here's their contact information. So shout out to them because they were willing to uh, do that for me. At the bottom, there's a coupon code. So if you want to use that, be be my guest and you guys could have that as well, okay? So pause that if you're interested in any of that, okay? Okay, so they also gave me a microfiber cloth, right? You want to clean all your components, but what you're going to need is your grease. And then you want something to wipe all that junk away, okay? So I just use an old towel. So let me clean up everything. The threads inside, uh, take these off. 
Okay, these are just gonna fall apart on me. Okay, take these off, clean the, uh, all the carbon fibers so the other ones don't get all gritty. And I'll show you how to apply the lubrication. So let's clean it first. Uh, inside of each one of these knuckles, you'll have this insert here. So you wanna take this out. Um, the way it's designed is there's a slit here. So you wanna bend it in and then fold it on top of itself, okay? Uh, and then that'll allow it to collapse. So remember how it's taken out. Here's the ring here. Here's a ring here. It's gonna go down into this. So that way you could clean out any gunk that's in there. Uh, same thing for these, just undo them. And then this will just slide right out. Uh, clean all that stuff. All right, so let me get all this cleaned up, uh, the rest of it, and then I'll show you. So after taking off all this stuff, um, of course, I left this here to block out the wind because this will go blowing. Um, but you're, you're going to notice you have a slot here and a slot here on this side. Well, inside these uh, little sleeves here, you have a nub on one side and a nub on the other. Okay. So that's what that looks like. Um, here's the bro one of the broken ones. Okay, should be able to see that nub on them. Uh, what you're gonna wanna do is, after you cleaned all that, now you need to reassemble, okay? So you need to make sure this leaf is in line with the, uh, the cutaway. Be very gentle with this because you don't wanna break these after you just spent 20 bucks on them, okay? So you wanna twist them and then they'll, they'll fit in, they're perfect, and then you squeeze them together, and then they lock them in, okay? Um, one thing is, I don't have confidence in this stuff here. Sadly, to me, it, it feels like it could possibly, it could, there's a possibility that it could break again. These are just super thin. Uh, spending 20 to 30 bucks to fix your stuff, uh, then by all means, I mean, this could be a, a nice tripod for you uh, to purchase but keep in mind that I've never had these break uh, prematurely not even using this tripod harsh um, as fast as these ones broke so keep that in mind you might have to spend some money uh, so uh, yeah after you put these on uh, what you're gonna need to do is apply grease to the threads here and to this thread here okay so apply the grease do not apply it to the inner threads here uh, because when you screw them on, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna transfer, okay? So let me show you how to do one real quick and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like once it's installed. So as you can see, this is super thick grease, okay? So this is the 111 and I'm just gonna coat the crap out of it, to be honest with you. Uh, I just feel like this stuff is super thick and the thicker it is, the better, uh, because it'll give you a smoother uh, twist. And the reason why I'm, I'm coating a lot on it is because when you actually screw this on to the uh, other side of it, it's gonna transfer some to it, okay? So you don't wanna put none on the carbon fiber Another thing is you want to align the carbon fiber upright, okay? So as you can see, some oozed out. Got to unscrew it and then reapply it again. So just take your finger and kind of pull some off, twist it back on. Yeah, this 111 feels like OEM standard here. So I definitely recommend the 111. Just really coat it in there and push push it into the threads. Uh, don't be afraid if it gets if it starts coming off. Just wipe it away, and that's what you have your towel for. So there. So that's what it should look like once it's done, and then you can wipe it, of course. Okay. So that's how you should apply it. You can technically, I guess, put it in on these threads um, before you, on the, this thread and this thread, 
Uh, the only issue is when putting in that plastic sleeve in between here again, you may have uh, some issues with it getting all of your hands and stuff. So keep that in mind, that may be an issue for you. Once you uh, applied the leaf on, okay, what you need to do is you need to consider two things, okay? You need to line up this notch here. There's one on each side, okay? With this uh, fold here in the carbon fiber. So you can see a fold there and there. So if you run your finger in here, you'll feel, feel a ridge. Okay, so this and this ridge are supposed to line up with each other, okay? Um, the reason for that is because it's the fold of the carbon fiber. So you got a hole here, a hole here, okay? And then a ridge on top and a ridge on the bottom. And those need to line up with these little slits on the, uh, each one of the leaf or else you won't be able to insert this, okay? So let me show you how to apply the lube first. So what I like to do is apply it at the bottom because when you thread this on, it's gonna work its way up. So apply it to the base of the thread and work it into the thread itself because it does you no good if it's on top of the thread, especially if it's uh, this thick stuff because what ends up happening is it just smears. It smears it all the way to the top. So the tackier, the, the grease here, the better. It'll just give you a smoother uh, knob. Okay, so wipe the excess, excess away on the inside so that way it doesn't smear all over your carbon fiber. And like I said, these are supposed to align with the, you could fill them in there, the ridges, or else it won't allow it to slide in like so, okay? So then from there, you just tighten it and you'll feel the grease transferring between the threads, loosen it, tighten it, loosen it, just do that a few times. And if you need to apply some more, okay? Um, but that should be good. Just do it once and then you should be good. Good to go, okay? Do that for the remaining uh, legs and uh, that's basically the whole install of this, okay? So that's gonna complete today's uh, video on the LS223C Leo Photo uh, tripod. A tabletop tripod and the install on the repair kit that is going to be needed in the near future for you if you decide that you have one of these or you're going to buy one of these uh, so keep that in mind uh, leftover stuff I i'm going to keep so i could see if i could 3d print this out of something less brittle um, at a later date um, so that's that portion of it uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's greatly appreciated. Hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you can get notified when videos like this and other videos I'll be posting in the near future uh, arise. And until next time, I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.